All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K21. And today we're going to be doing a one-round event at the Juno Cup with a field size of 32. I believe it's just for people that have won or something like that. But as you can see, the field size is very small. We'll be doing the Juno Cup in this part, and then we'll be going back to two rounds for the Reverie Open, the Waste Management, the Genesis Invitational. And um, we got real events there coming up very soon. Um, but let's jump into this one. We won... A couple of events ago, and then in the last event, if you missed the last part, guys, 100% go and check it out. Because the ending to that part was probably the craziest shit I've ever seen. And we're breaking a 1,000 likes on every video, so make sure to keep that up. Dropping a like on the videos, it really does mean a lot. And we shall choose a new contract. I actually do have new clothes and stuff to put on my guy, though. I think that we unlocked with, um, that we unlocked from the contract. So let's have a look here. I think we got a new Adidas shirt. Let's try that for round two, maybe. Maybe we'll change it for round one and change this outfit to our round three outfit or something. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, purchasing a new Adidas shirt here, a new Adidas cap. We're looking nice. And uh, we're also going to... I think we unlocked new pants. So we're going to just equip those pants if we can. And we'll be on our merry little way then, eh? Um, I think this should be them. Yeah, the white Adidas pants. There we go. They're looking kind of fine, though. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now we're looking kind of dapper. Definitely don't want these pants. <laughs> but um, let us equip new shoes as well, maybe. Because that those shoes don't go with this outfit. In a white pair. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This this second round outfit's looking fine, it kind of fire. It's a shame we won't get to see it in this video. Because we're only doing the one round. But, you know, soon. Soon, baby. All right, let's jump on into this event at the Juno Cup and see, um, see who's... Uh, Who's trying to... Who's trying to beat us, eh? Alright, Adi, Adidas. Should we go again for another Adidas contract? Score 11. One putt pars are better. Finish around with a proximity to hold of 30 foot or less. Finish around with 10% three putt avoidance or less. I can do the medium one, for sure. Okay, let's go with that. We'll stick with Adidas for now. We might try out some different brands uh, soon enough. Also, I'm trying out this new blue driver that I would... It was meant to be equipped for the last um, society event that I did. By the way, the societies are up and running. If you missed it yesterday, I did uh, the first society event. It's open to everyone. Um, you have to play on my settings is the only thing. So it's not for... It's not going to be for everyone. Not for the beginners or the casuals. It will be kind of for the more experienced players. I guess I did say that I can maybe set up an alternate event in the future. Um, running alongside each event for beginner players. But at the moment, that's not something that's in my plans. And we'll have a match play event coming up soon as well we're going to do a qualifier in the society and like the top 128 players will qualify for the match play or something like that at least okay Hello and all right welcome to let's go baby to a coverage here on 2k sports Today's let's freaking go the son cup is about to begin the juno the cup with rich beam in the booth and on course we've got john mccann all right john what's happening brother be here at copper dunes, copper dunes. Tell you one thing I've noticed here at Copper Dunes is it's basically a giant waste bunker. With Great, some beautiful holes. As if I don't go in enough sand already without the uh, without that issue. But uh, I'm very interested to see. That's a perfect drive to start things off. I didn't even think about that one. Just back, forward, down the middle, and uh, that is just perfection personified right there. Great drive with the. That's our first drive with the new driver. And it's a good one. It's giving me a good feel. 140. Okay. Lie is definitely going slightly right. And so is the wind. Only a tiny bit, though. Um, right, this is going to go a little far. Well, actually, it might be pretty good. You know, just a tiny bit aloft, maybe. That was perfect. Be the right distance today, sir. What a shot to start things off. Ooh, baby. Those were two solid shots to start things off. Well, that's that's the way you want to be playing, baby. Let's make uh, make use of it with the putt, though. This Let's go. Take. What a birdie to start the day. That was just a good chef's kiss. Beautiful. Round. Let's go. Carlos Ortiz is three under through nine. I'm coming for Kevin Nash, three under through three. So, yes, Good lord. Okay, Kevin. First. Great job. I might have to turn the difficulty back down, by the way, because I do realize that 90% might be a bit high. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. That was I'd a bit fast. Yeah. Some okay, if I, I knew that one straight like that. away, but it might still be okay. Yeah, it will be. It's going to be just fine, actually. 
That's perfect now, Johnny. Got away with that one because it wasn't a good drive, but Let's take a look all at the Justin same. Thomas from earlier. JT, what's up, bro? JT! The Juno Cup. It would help if it loaded. The first one always takes long to load. I, I need to get that into my head. Lining up for his third surprise, now. surprise. Bunker shot. That's for birdie. He's going to hold it. Yes, oh, sir. Good shot, as yes, sir, Justin. So I think, yeah, the score confirmed now. It, what score it shows there up the top left is what score they got in the hole. Not, um... Not okay, anything else. Get back to the action. Not what they're actually hitting for. Number two would be very nice here today. Okay. That's a big, big... Sl uh, slope run. I, I was trying to think. <laughs> big slope run there. 168, I feel like that's too much. Oh, maybe not, actually. With a bit of loft, a bit of stop. 168 could be good. I'm hoping that this is... Yeah, pretty, with the six uh, a little idea. slow, that's going to stay right. Nah, yeah, I was probably aiming a bit right. too far right. But the ball was above my foot. I thought uh, above my feet. I thought it might turn in, but not not quite That's that not much. The outcome they're after. A bit not short quite that, that much. The splash shot for sure. This would be a great up and down from this spot. We're on a down slope a little bit. I'm gonna try to put a good amount of loft on this. And 96 power. How does it still go 20 yards? 21. Power saver coming up for this fellow. Put so much loft, and I didn't even hit a full power, and still. It's got a That's a great par though. Really good up and down there. That's uh, a good start to the tournament. It would have been terrible to get a PBFU right off the bat, wouldn't it? That would have been just awful. Make sure you respond quickly. Kevin Nat ain't stopping. Kevin Nat is four under through four. Teeing off here at the third hole. Three iron. Mm, too much. I think the 178 club will be good here. We don't have a four iron anymore, which would probably be the legit perfect club for this. But I think the five iron could get there. I think it could get there quite well. Let's try it. Going with the five iron here. Hit it fast. It might kick down. It this might kick down if it like doesn't reach the bunker. Left here, Rich. If it doesn't reach the bunker, it's going to kick down. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Oh, what a shot. Okay, we got a little bit lucky there again. We're getting uh, a little bit of luck here at the start, that, but that everyone needs a little bit of luck. Good here and birdie. there. Good looking birdie here. It turns a lot. I didn't hit it. Oh, I did. I did. I did! What a birdie! Let's freaking go, baby! That was a tough part three, and we made it look easy. Well, we didn't, really. But it's what matters that goes up. It, it's what goes on the scorecard that matters, is what I'm trying to say. And Kevin now is five under through five. He is not stopping. I definitely need to turn the difficulty down. <laughs> Holy shit, Kevin, bro. You are going off, man. That's going to be just fine. That's going to be just fine. This is a long hole, actually. A really long hole. But, alas, I, I assume it's a par five. Now we go back to the fifth hole where this happened just a moment ago. The fifth? Let's take a look at Gary Woodland. From Gary! Eagle. It's about time we saw Gary, isn't it? The, oh, for eagle. He made an eagle. He chips in for eagle? Wow. Okay. All right, Gary. That's pretty impressive. range. That was a par five. That's on the fifth. I want to see how long the fifth hole is when we get there. All right. So he made um, an eagle from a chip from just a off the green. At this stage, time for fifth. So we'll see. Time for the fifth. Ooh, God. Okay. You have to play it up there. There's red fast. My goodness. I cannot believe that. I, after I'd done the swing recalibration, I think and I was hitting too many of them the slower. I'm hitting the drives fine now, but everything else, like the irons and everything else, I'm hitting really fast for some reason. I think I need to get a flop here, yeah. 43-yard flop should be fine. That was perfect. That was really good, man. Let's go. All right, we've given ourselves a chance for the birdie. Not your best effort. Still a mid-range putt coming up. This one's for birdie. Boom. The putt drops, and that's good birdie. Back to back birdies. Back to back birdies. That's three under through four. Good start. Now, current leader is up by three shots. Kevin Na isn't stopping. Six under through six. What is happening, Kev? You're kind of going off right now, Kev. Yeah, I knew that one was fast. It's gonna be okay though. Well, this should find the short grass. Should be. 
Yeah, Gary Woodland chipped in for Eagle on this hole, guys. Guys? You're, tell me it's a par five. Tell you what, there's been some great golf being played all over the <laughs> I think it's a par four. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like a 500 yard par four and he chipped in for Eagle. Holy shit. Oh, check this out. Showing Looks like he's in the hybrid there. From the sand. Jim Furyk chipping in from the bunker and water is wet. Oh, he didn't well, quite. That was an absolute beauty, Rich. It was. It was. Let's return to live play now. Second shot. Yep, this is a par four. four. This is a 500 yard par four and Gary Woodland just made it a, a chipping eagle from the front of the green. Okay, game. You're bugging. The game is legit bugged. <laughs> they need to fix the highlights, man. For real. I need to hit a, pra a couple practice swings with the irons because I was hitting them very... Look at that. Red fast. That that was not a red fast swing, by the way. There we go. That was slow. But I really had to slow that down so much. Like, you don't even understand. Okay, very slow there now. Great. There we go. That was perfect. Okay. Got the timing of it now. Going there with we the go. Three Good shot. Right at it. Let's go, baby! Go! What a shot. What a shot. I just had to hit two absolutely amazingly well, quality like shots to get this far away for birdie. Gary right Woodland there. chips in for, for <laughs> Eagle. <laughs> Let's make this one for okay, nine Gary. Feet. You're wildin'. Gary, Gary Woodland is... Hmm, I pushed that one and I hit it too hard. Yikes, brother. This one is for his par. Oh my ride? god, dude. What am I doing? I am, what am I doing, man? Dude, I... <gasps> what am I... Frustrating. Double bogey putt coming up here. That was a gallant attempt. <laughs> this next putt is for triple bogey. Okay. Steady no, dude, what's, what's actually happening? Mm, no one likes dude, to is this... Let's like, make this, please. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Now, seven shots behind after that. I don't... Time to tee off at the sixth. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one could take a little bounce to the left. Guys, I'm actually in disbelief right now at what I just did. A was that a six shot. putt? Oh, I was putting for birdie and I walked six. off with a quad. Almost a gimme birdie I just there, five Luke. putted. Fantastic. This is a good chance. A little bounce back birdie. Fourth birdie of the day. A little bounce back birdie. <laughs> Look at this scorecard, bro. <laughs> what did I just do? What did I just do? I like it. Oh my goodness. Good I'm level par lines. with What's a quad bogey score? through six holes. <laughs> oh man, I, I can do nothing but laugh, to be honest. What in God's name have I just witnessed? That's some of the, the worst... That's probably the worst you'll ever see. Putting you'll ever see right there. Because I just continuously made the same mistake. I kept overreading the putt and hitting it too hard. I did the exact same mistake four times in a row and didn't rectify it. Like what what was I actually thinking? What was I what was going through my mind? <laughs> I guess I simply wasn't thinking. And this is the best I've ever hit the ball, probably. <laughs> That's the funny thing about this whole scenario. Like what the fuck just went on, bro? Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. That just happened. Maybe simplify might be in the, the hole. game a little bit and not focusing on the swing. What a shot. The short game what a shot, man. We are just playing so good. good Even on the hole that I had the quad bogey, I hit two incredible shots to get it to like, what, eight foot? I just five put it from like eight foot. Birdie, birdie, quad, birdie, birdie. <laughs> oh my God, this is just wild, to be honest. I can't believe this shit. That's actually funny, though. How slow, yeah. Come on, wind. Should still be just okay. Just okay! We're good. Nicely done. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Hmm, this is going to be too far. But I think I can get it to maybe... 
If I can get it to hit into that upslope, it would kill it completely. You know? It might be ambitious to some, but they're going for the green. Yeah, that's pretty damn good, to be honest. That's pretty damn good, man. At least to just slow down. Slow your roll, son. It's going to keep going off the green. That's not bad. Play there, Rich. I like good it from where we were, and we should be able to get up and down to play there for a par. Four strokes off the lead. A little gap wedge. Put it close. Get in. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Ooh. Just close. Four feet remaining between him and the hole. Close, man. Close. At the least I didn't miss it, boys. We're good. And Another birdie. Th Three birdies in a row since the quad. We nearly have it back now. <laughs> He's in a share of seventh place. Always like to see your name. I'd be leading the, the tournament board, through eight holes without that uh, without that quad bogey, by the way. Here we find ourselves I'm literally, this is the best I've ever played. Floor. Like, I, <laughs> that's the crazy thing. This is legitimately the best I've ever played. That's just wild when you think about it. What kind of That's rhythm such is a that? good drive. It must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that. Yeah, it's kind of tough, man. Perfection isn't easy. Perfection is not easy. And that is just tremendous stuff. That's great momentum. Hmm. I have to put some loft on the six iron for sure. That's so good. Please be right. This one might need too to far get down still. A little. Yeah, I should have went with 158 because it would have kicked on probably. That's not a terrible shot, but I could have I could have went a club back. I think would have been the reasonable choice there. But we'll we'll settle for that. Sitting at two under par. Currently tied for I'm gonna chip position. this in. I'm gonna chip this in regardless, so we're good. That's in. Legitimately. Oh! I that, one was going in. that was close. And now it's a it's little tester for par. Eight feet. You know what I can do from this range, boys? This one's looking good. Yes, sir. Let's go. That's in the front door. I've been putting well other than that. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> that's our first par since the second hole, I'm pretty sure. But that's okay. Let's see uh, who's on the tent. Jim Furyk. All right, Jimbo. You ended up with a par, so it can't be too good. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Right down the pipe. Oh. Oh my oh, God, he hold it. It's in the hole. Oh. You believe that actually was a par. This is right out of fantasy land. Holding out from that. He must have went out of bounds. <laughs> what a shot. Okay, Jim. Here we go, Rich. The back nine on. Right, oh mate. So Not bad, Jimbo. Yeah, they're playing We really well right would would be winning this tournament, and we'd have a chance to win the whole thing if we had uh, continued that move up. Just not board. fucked up, you know. Not that fucked up that one hole. Big easy. Silky that, we are driving it so well, by the way. We're hitting the ball so well. Ever since like the first or second hole where I had a couple fast ones, I, I've been hitting it just picture perfect. Like the tempo has been beautiful. 160 yards out. Four shots behind our leader. Right, I'm gonna aim way up here actually. I'm gonna try to fade in a little bit and hopefully it should be good. The, the seven arm will kick on a little bit, so I think it should be okay. Game with Tiny the bit fast, but with the way the hill is, that should be good. Come on, hill. Come on, hill. Come back down off that. Come back down off that. Don't you dare stay up there, you son of a bitch. Gee, there's some oh, energy hitting that fast absolutely ruined it. It would have been good otherwise. Another highlight right away. Jim Furyk. How did he get to the next green already? Jim's a goddamn madman. Big chance here. And he holds it. Jim Furyk, he's our rival, actually. He's one under. We're beating him by one shot currently, but we need to be careful. Jimbo could, uh... Jimbo could be coming for us. Currently four shots off the pace. Okay, I'm gonna hit this straight at it, actually, because it does break right at the end, but that's right at the end. That's in. Let's go. That was a relatively easy chip, actually. And we chip it in. Let's go. Three under. This is a crazy round. We've only had two pars. It's fucking wild. Let's have another look, then. Little chip-in, baby. How many chip-ins have I had, by the way, guys? My chipping is just sensational. Let's go! Little chip-in. You know me. <laughs> Managing to chase All right, down two shots back at Patrick. We, we still have a chance to win like this it. thing, boys. Ten Remember, this is a one-round event, so we still have a chance to win this thing. The way I'm driving it, I'm just going to go for this. 
Ouch. Oh no! That's the awful. Oh Shake no! <laughs> That's about as bad as it gets right there. Holy shit! <laughs> and that sat right down too. This, this is gonna be a deadly deep, shot. Yeah. That's not too bad actually. The lie. Thought it was gonna be worse to be honest. I'm not gonna hit the three iron, am I? Oh, I don't know. One ninety nine. That's fucking thirty. No, I'm gonna hit this. Just the way it is. Looks to be going with the five iron. It's a kick on. I probably could have hit, with, hit the three iron, but I still don't think it would have got up there. Maybe it would have if I'd hit it like that, but that's not terrible. That's chipping range. That's a little way with. That's chipping range, maybe. Possible coming out of this rough. All right, another chip in back to back. No, that's not far enough. I didn't need to put the loft on that, really, or the spin at least. And he needs this to save par. All right, easy par save. Tap in. Not really a tap in, but not bad. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Patrick Reed leads the way at six under with three shots back of Pat Reed. Okay, Patrick, I'm coming for you, buddy. I hope you know that. Seven iron. It'll kick on. It's. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of deal loft on it. Because it's 30 foot up, but I, th I still think this will kick on enough. That's fast. Fuck. Have chosen the seven iron. Yeah, Ooh, I just flicked devils. it a little bit, unfortunately. Okay. It's gonna be tough up and down, actually, it's from there. Fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. And missing fair to say, is it? With that approach, not a good leave. I'm gonna hit the sandwich chip here, boys. Because it's downhill. Watch the downhill chips always fly. Go, go, go! Get in! Get in! What a chip! What a chip! Well, Let's go. That was a beauty right there. I told you the sandwich. If I hit the gap wedge, it probably would have gone too far, I would say. Okay. Alright, another par. We need a good, strong finish if we want to contend to win this tournament, but it's going to be a solid finish regardless. This effort by Justin Thomas. JT, let's have a look, baby. Sitting at one under. Just outside the top 10 on the leaderboard. Good shot. Ooh. Nice little chip in for JT. And a fist pump. Okay, JT. All right. A little fist pump from JT. That could be a thumbnail right there. And after this it's a good one. That's how it looks. It's a good one, baby. All right, we're still three back. Patrick Reed and Kevin Nassik's under now. I'm going straight over here because you know me. I don't know if it's going to reach, actually, but I'm going to try my best. It's going to be fast, but... It's intended. Ball had a in it oh, I didn't actually want to hit it that. No, I should aim for the right if I was going to hit fast. That was a brain dead move. Because I actually would have carried if I didn't hit it fast, I think. Like. That was just stupid. This is a good lie, though. Well, definitely not really where good they planned to be, but they could have had a lot worse of a situation. So yeah, for real. That's slow. Sand. But, yo, if I didn't hit it that slow, it probably would have been pretty good. Eh, I still might have been short, actually. Because it was on a bit of an upslope. Ready to play their third. Only a few Splash shot. <laughs> We'll hit a 19 yard splash and it should be ideal, son. Woo! And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Let's go. Three under, baby. So, no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Yes, sir. Perfect drive. There you go. This is this a par 5? This is a long hole. It's got to be a par 5. There's no way this is a par 4. We're legit still like 250 yards away, I'm pretty sure. Okay. That was wonderfully done. Yep, Sitting 280 yards three. away. Currently tied for fifth place. Yeah, I'm just going to lay up because there's no point in me going into that bunker, really, is there? It's perfect. That's going to be perfect from there. Probably flop range, maybe, if not, just a pitch. Could be 60, 70 yards, if not... I think we'll be in the 40 to 50 yard range, actually. Yeah, like that, should be it? flop range. Let's go. Time to recap what Jim Furyk managed just. Jimbo out of the bunker. Let's this go, Jim. Third. I knew it. He holds out from par. Does he hold it? Does he hold it, Jim? Of course he does. He holds it for par. What a shot, Jimbo Mac. Jimbo Furyk. He's two under. He's close to us. Okay, let's get back to the. We action. need to put some distance between me and Jim and with the with the birdie here. Shot. Just Definitely a flop. From the leader. Definitely a flop shot. Put some loft. Put some action. 
Let to sit down nice and soft. Oh, hit the hole. Jeez, spin, spin. Could have put a little bit more, maybe. A tie for fourth place if you can hold this part. And with only four holes to go in this event, Luke, this is a good opportunity, big moment for this player. Let's go. Woo! Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Oh, I thought that was in. That was just a cruel lip out right there. I really thought that was in. That's truly unfortunate. Truly unfortunate. Now, strokes back after that hole. Patrick Reed, son. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. The 15th, okay. 158, definitely 7 iron. I feel like this still... Might need to put a little bit of loft on it. Try a little bit of a fade. Play out to the right there. Let it come in. That's fast. Game with the seven. I brought it back slow and pushed it forward fast, this so that's always going to be a fast one. I keep doing that in the part threes for some reason. I'm like, I'm trying to flick the... It's like I'm, it's like I'm actually trying to flick a wedge or something. I don't know what I'm doing. That was well, a Rich, terrible shot, though. on the surface, but it's in free putt territory. It's so far away. Yep. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Okay, not quite enough power, but it's going to be okay. Oh, I thought it was going to be a little closer, honestly. Ooh. Now, that's a mistake. How do you leave that short? Shut up. <laughs> it's like an 80, 80 foot putt here. or something. How do you leave that short, you dickhead? <laughs> All right, good par. The greens are pretty easy. Like, they're pretty straight. We don't have a drop shot apart from that quad bogey where, where we fucking five putted from five foot. Like, what? Like, what? Down the leaderboard. Never that, is, that is the craziest hole I'll ever see in my life. If that's the only drop shot we have all day, that's kind of wild when you think about it. But that's slow, but it's fine. That's going to be just fine, baby. It's going to be nice and fine. Nice and smooth. It's a long par four, though. Holy. Jesus, that's a long par four. Oh, with that's library. really good. Really good. Come on. Get up there. Get on up! Get up over the hill, please. Big kick. Big kick forward. It's gonna kind of catch this hill. Damn it. Wasn't far away from being Still really good. Shot, it's a good shot, though. Still a chance. From Still where we were, that's a... We were really far out, so not a bad shot. For par would be just fine. JT, he holds this, this for birdie 100%. Here, How many freaking hole outs do we see, man? And this is... I wouldn't mind, but it's from the same and players every time. Look at that round from JT. He gets the six under. JT's making a late now. charge. Make sure you get both the line and the speed right here. It's a long part. I can't believe I didn't birdie the last one. I was just thinking, I'm gonna, aren't I four under? I didn't birdie that last one. I'm an idiot. Now we have this for birdie, which is quite obviously not easy. Hit that a tiny bit hard, but it should be in. So Good effort. Good effort. Just a four footer remaining. Don't That's a. It. Could a boring costly. par. We have two holes remaining, so we're not going to win the tournament. But it's a solid round of golf apart from that one hole. We would actually have won the tournament. We'd be leading this tournament if we had just even parred that hole. Two putted. If we had two putted from just the eight foot we were away, we would win this tournament. That's just crazy when you think about it. Slow. No. Perfect, actually. A cannon. Pretty much did, brother. It pretty much did. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. Only a few shots off the pace. Should be good. A little fast, but I was I thought it was kind of going to balance out with the wind, but not a bad shot. Longish putt, but it's a chance. It's going to come back well, down a little bit, judged. but hold not much. High, right inside the range. Right and inside the range of a hold putt here. Five on the leaderboard. Oh, I hit it. I didn't hit it. Uh, didn't quite hit Those it, downhill did putts, man, downhill I find them putt, hard to hit. For some reason, I cannot. I cannot get the pace of the, the shortish downhill putts. All right, we can so finish strong with a, a birdie or an eagle on the last hole, maybe, and get inside that top five if possible. A birdie might get us inside the top five. An eagle definitely would. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Oh wow! Really? Is this one heading into the sand? Hmm. All right, we'll just have to lay up. No big deal. I don't think we would have probably got there anyway. Oh, no, we would have. We can put ourselves pretty reasonably back into the fairway. Reasonably far up is what I'm trying to say. Should be interesting. See how. Oh, God. Go. Jesus. Thank God for that. Thank God for that, son. All right. Pitch shot should be good here. Just the way it is, maybe. 
Oh, like red fast? Wedge. Usually I, I, I have to hit the pitches faster, but not that fast, I guess. All right, it's going to be very difficult yeah, to get a, a birdie like from there, but for sure. Slim chance you never know. For birdie, but you never know. You never know, John. That's exactly what I said. That's in the middle. Oh, gee, that line was looking Oof. good, wasn't it? Not a bad effort. 69 up for grabs here if you can hold this part. 69, eh? All right. That's oh, my God. I thought that was going to lip out. <laughs> All right. A really solid round of golf apart from the hole five. We'll just let that seep out of the memory. We won't talk about that ever again. But uh, I enjoyed the tournament. It was a nice course. It was a fairly, it was a fairly gettable course. Like, I would have shot a seven under there Absolutely without uh, burning... Oh, we wouldn't have even won. Justin Thomas, eight under. Okay, JT. Yeah, beast. We did beat our. Oh, we were we were tied with our rival, uh, Jim Furyk. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, we unlocked a new T-shirt there. I didn't actually see what that was. I can put that on for my round four outfit, maybe. Let's have a look. Ooh, front nine score and birdies are better. We beat Jim Furyk. We had seven birdies. <laughs> seven birdies. Wild. All right, but uh, I enjoyed that tournament. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Drop a like on the video. It's the best way to let me know that you do enjoy the content. Once we can just eliminate those stupid mistakes, we're really going to be rolling. But these last three tournaments have been incredibly enjoyable, I must say. And uh, we're getting into it. We're getting good on these settings. I need to change the rounds per event thing down here back to two for the regular events because when they're coming up now, um, the reverie open and all that will be back to two events. JT is winning the FedEx Cup. Um, he, he leapfrogs us there after winning that tournament, but we're still way ahead of uh, third place at the moment. A good 300 points or so separates me and Patrick Cantley. Um, apparently, I can't count, actually. It's, like, not even to 200 points, so I'm really stupid. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. I'll see you soon. Peace out.